Okay, so we are still doing operations or functions. If you missed addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, there's another video on that. But right now we're going to do composition of functions. I like to do composition of functions on its own because it's it's special. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we have going on here. So basically, with operation with composition of functions, um, this is the notation that you have to use. You see how that little circle in the middle is open? You see it? That means composition. If it's a closed circle, that means multiplication. You already know how to do that. The dot means multiplication. But this little open dot thing, that open dot thing definitely means composition. So if you see that, that means, it does not mean multiply. It definitely means that you need to compose the functions, okay? And the other notation is F parentheses G of X. So you read this as f of g of x. I know there's a lot of ofs, f of g of x, but make sure that's what you're doing, okay? It's not multiplication, it's different. So let's learn how it's different, okay? So um, given the function two to the power of x, and then, so that's f of x, and then g of x, which is seven minus x. The function notation says f of g of four. Right? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start in the innermost parentheses where the 4 is. So basically that means plug 4 inside of G. Right? But y'all already knew that. So plug 4 inside of G. So I'm going to take G, which in this case is 7 minus X, and I'm going to plug a 4 in for X. I'm going to get 7 minus 4, and that's going to give me 3. So now what that function notation is telling me is that G has to go inside of F. That's what all those parentheses mean. Put four inside of G and then put G inside of F. So the answer that I just got is three. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put three inside of F. F is two to the power of X. So two to the power of three is obviously gonna be eight. And that's my final answer. You see me? That wasn't that bad. Let's try it again. Okay, so we're gonna do F I mean, G of F of four. So notice this time we're plugging the four into F and then plugging that into G, okay? Um, so I got two to the power of four, which is uh, 16, and I'm gonna take that 16 and I'm gonna plug it into G. G is seven minus X, or we're gonna do seven minus 16, and that's gonna give me negative nine. So negative nine is my final answer. Not bad, right? It's not that bad. It's really just learning that notation to see what that notation is really trying to tell you. That's really all of this is. It's like, what is this notation? What is it telling me to do? That's what you're doing. Because you guys already know how to plug numbers into functions. I'm chatting too much. Okay, so let's, our two new functions, our orange function is 7x minus 3, and then our blue function is going to be x squared. So f is 2x minus 3, g is x squared. So we're going to do f of, a, f of g of 3. That's how you read that, f of g of 3, f of g of 3. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug 3 into g of x. So that means that I am going to say x squared instead of x i'm going to say three squared three squared is nine right so now that i have the nine now i'm going to plug that into f because we plug three into g now we're going to plug that into f so f is 2x minus three so we're going to plug the nine in for the x so that's going to be two times nine is minus three which is 18 minus three which is 15. it's my final answer to the problem Sorry. <laughs> um, I just made a song up. Did y'all like it? Okay, so this is the next example. You should pause the video. See if you can do it on your own. Ah. While I drink my matcha, pause the video. Okay. I hope you paused the video. I know you're like, this lady be drinking a lot in her videos. It's fine. I don't care. Anyway, okay, so we're going to plug 3 inside of F. So F is 2x minus 3. So three, 2 times 3 is 6 minus 3 is 3, right? So now we're going to take that 3 and we're going to plug it into G. So uh, G is x squared. So we're going to do 
3 squared, obviously, and 3 squared is 9. So then the final answer is 9. Y'all getting good at this? I hope you're getting good at this. Okay, so now we're just going to do... So before we were doing the, in these, we're composing and we're evaluating, right? So we're putting numbers inside of functions and then putting them inside of other functions. This time, we're just going to be putting functions inside of functions, okay? So the no, look at the notation and look at how it's different, right? So it says at g, open circle, f of x or g of f of x. Both of those mean the same thing. When you see that, it means put f inside of g. Put f inside of g. Put f inside of G. So that means orange needs to go inside of blue. So everywhere where there's an X, instead of X, I'm going to replace it with X minus 5. So that would look like this. So X minus 5 parenthes inside parentheses squared. Remember that X minus 5 squared is not X squared minus 25. You have to distribute. You have to combine like terms. And you will get a function that looks like that. That, ladies and gentlemen, is your final answer. Some of you are like, what just happened? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's fine. We'll get over it. Okay, so sometimes they ask you to compose a function and then find the value of that function. So now that we've composed the functions, we put one inside the other, found the new function, which is x squared minus 10x plus 25. Now they want us to plug 3 into that function, so I would do that. 3 squared minus 10 times 3 plus 25. So when I simplify, I get 9 minus 30 plus 25. I'm going to get 4 as my final answer. Why? Because 9 minus 3, I mean minus 30, is going to give me um, negative 21 plus 25. It's going to give me 4. 4 is the final answer. We got this. Okay, we got, I'm going to throw, throw a fraction at you. Don't be mad. Okay, so the first notation, we're just looking at the left side of the screen right now. We're looking at g of f of x, right? So that means put f inside of g. Put f inside of g. Put f inside of g. Yes? Yes. Okay. So f is 5x plus 2. It needs to, 5x plus 2 needs to replace the x. So instead of x in the blue function, I'm going to put 5x minus 2. And we're going to combine like terms. So that means that I got to look 2. <laughs> 2 minus 1 is going to give me just 1, right? So when I simplify, I get 5x plus 1. And that's my final answer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go backwards, right? So the first, the left side of the screen told me to put F inside of G. The, the right side of the screen is telling me to put G inside of F. So that means we're going to put blue inside of orange. So instead of an X, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put 2 over X minus 1. That whole entire thing is going to be the, is going to replace the X, right? So what happens now is I need to multiply by the 5. And remember, we're just going to put 1. We're going to make 5 a fraction by putting a 1. So we're going to multiply 5 times 2. That's going to give me 10. 1 times X minus 1 is still going to be X minus 1. And we're just going to leave that lonely plus 2 on the outside of those parentheses. We're just going to leave it out there for now. We're not even going to do nothing special with it, okay? And that is composing functions in a nutshell. I hope. <laughs> it shouldn't be that bad. I hope not. <laughs> anyway, how long we've been filming this? I don't know, but what am I gonna tell you to do? Like I always tell you to do, go back through the videos, see if you can do the functions on your own. And then if not, I guess I'll just see you in the next one. Bye.